going on gamers? Avatrix here and I think I might have just found myself a target. He has got 6.5 million troops. I'm expecting reinforcements so we'll see how that goes. Now I went ahead and used a maxed army size boost because I'm gonna need this 50% boost but at the same time if he shields it might just be wasted so I'm hoping that there is no shield but let's uh just go ahead and get into it i i'm gonna go ahead and lead off with cavalry and uh, we'll go ahead and go like this got a little bit more cavalry and then all out there we go so i'm gonna go ahead hit all cavalry i have my anti-scout on that way if you're leading a rally make sure that you have an anti-scout on because if not what ends up happening is that they can scout you, know exactly what you're going to send and how to counter you. So make sure you always do that. And because I'm going full cavalry, I am just going to go ahead and put my full cavalry talents on. Let me just verify that everything is good. Usually I don't do the defensive talents like squad defense and whatnot. But because I'm only going to go cavalry on this one, I might as well do it. Uh, let's see how fast we can go ahead and fill this rally. So we're at 1.5 already. Make sure that I am also only getting cavalry. As a as a rally leader, you also you want to make sure that you're getting the right troops at all times. Sometimes I I don't have that luxury because I have to get in the bank or give out resources and whatnot. But if you're only focusing on rallying. Um, you should always make sure that you're getting the right troops. Looks like we're pretty much full a minute in, so seems like we are good to go. Uh, is he getting any reinforcements? That is the key. Also, I just remembered I should clear out my infirmaries because I uh, don't know exactly how much this will hurt. So let's see. There we go. That should be good enough. Now, the only thing that we don't want is obviously a shield. Uh, I still need one more person to join the rally. So, that would be great. Um, now, I know that this guy is on. So, if he's not even reinforcing, that's, that's usually not a good sign. Either... They're not just they're just not gonna reinforce him period, which that that just means the guild sucks. Or if they're not receiving reinforcements, that usually just means that they've probably said, Hey, I'm online, you don't need to reinforce. So I'm hoping that they're just horrible. But GW9 has a tendency to actually reinforce, unlike TWS, and as a matter of fact, here comes a reinforcement now. Uh, now once the reinforcements get there you can always scout and see what reinforcement he got but you also have to be careful because usually that also sends a notification to this player so you're also risking you know waking them up if they are indeed asleep so we shall see what happens and here we go looks like they're gonna be reinforcing some more well let's see what's gonna happen looks like they're sending infantry um infantry reinforcements which is perfect for us so i'm hoping for the best here there we go we got the last guy that we needed i think he just uh he wanted he, he was waiting for an army to come back or something if i if i recall but okay we have the rally filled all right let's see what happens 40 seconds now this when you fill the rally too quickly, the seconds that you're kind of just waiting for it to march is the worst. Because you're just like, please, I don't want to see a bubble with a heart shape right now. Please, just let it hit, please. So here we go. Uh, da -da. Let, me, let me make sure that everything is good to go. My talents are good. 19 seconds to go. Um, 10 seconds. Let me go ahead and activate my army attack here. And go ahead and change my gear here. 
and we are off. Let's see what they do. Did they change gear? They did not change gear. And that is gonna hurt. 346. Ah, -hoo -hoo. That hurts. Minus 65. They were in infantry phalanx, so that definitely hurt them big time. Let's see what's gonna happen here. They have Drake Riders and Stealth Snipers pretty much only. So I am gonna go ahead and go full ranged. I do not want to change my leader because I don't want them to know what I am sending. But essentially, I am gonna be sending all ranged. Um, and for ranged, we'll go ahead and do like this. Heroic Cannoneer. I don't expect... Uh, ooh, that's too much. Yeah, something like this. Here we go. Here we go. Um, because I have so many attack boosts, I'm gonna go ahead and put on an anti-scout again. And we should be good. This is gonna be full ranged. Uh, let's see. Because I believe from what I saw, it was only cavalry, only range that he had left. I mean, he had some heroic fighter, but that's not really gonna do anything whatsoever. Um, one thing to also note. Oh no, did he shield? He shielded. <sighs> I was gonna say, if you're gonna be heal if you're gonna be hitting with like only uh, cavalry, like I just did. Unfortunately, he shielded, but it is what it is. Um, you have to also keep in mind that you gotta keep on on top of everything. So, for instance, since I was gonna go ranged, I would have also had to change my my talents to ranged again because if I just leave it in cavalry that would have really messed me up so if you're gonna be doing a lot of like rally leading and all that you have to make sure that you stay on top of every single thing but to also answer a very popular question as to why I hit in ranged phalanx is if I'm only gonna be sending uh, cavalry and why I send some infantry and some ranged when I'm only gonna be hitting in cavalry. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and show you exactly why. So when I start the battle, I want you guys to notice that my cavalry is gonna be all the way in the back, and the first two hits from their army are actually gonna be hitting my infantry and my ranged. And essentially, all that does is it keeps my actual army, my cavalry army, from being hit those first two times. So. Let me go ahead and show you the battle. And watch. My cavalry is going to be all the way in the end. My range are going to take... You see those? There goes my infantry. So those two first hit. Hit my infantry and my range. Which were only 24 troops in total. Whereas if I only had cavalry. Those two hits would have actually hit my real army. And although in this case it wouldn't have actually done a lot of damage it does save you some damage in the end and whenever you go into a rally and you lose by one or two percent maybe five percent that could have been the difference especially if you're going up against somebody that has a lot of ranged and that they, they get the two or three ranged attacks before you break down the wall that's why it's very important uh, but yeah unfortunately we were we were able to only hit once but that one hit before he shielded was definitely a painful experience so let me go ahead and show you again what we got so we got 750,000 royal guards dead and about 700,000 heroic fighters dead and we also started chipping into the royal cavalry but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and maybe learned some new things appreciate you guys for watching and until later bye